And yes, the prime and studio figure form. Uh, I got bored, so I went to take a drive to Walmart and see what they had. And guess what I found sitting on the shelves? Saw Prime there. Got Bone B. Let's see how close I can get this for a search. We got the Bone Meister. We got Singer, which I already got him with the right there. And Voyager Class Starscream. Uh, I will be getting the Voyager Class Starscream, and I will be getting the Megatron, and I'll be getting the Blackout. Specifically for this figure himself. But, Optimus Prime comes with two of his uh, fighting swords, which I really wanted some of those. I could never get them. They had some on uh, eBay for like $9, which I was not going to spend that much for plastic swords. <laughs> Bam! Studio Series number five. Prime himself. Mm, chest is big. Yeah. Chest is a little big. I can understand that. For a little bit. Does he have two swords? It's kind of hard to see down in the box. I can't see. I have to get him open. But a Voyager, a Class A. Here you go. Give you the Voyager class. Class A, a Voyager. Class A, a Voyager. And Class A, a Voyager. Like a Jaeger. Or yeah, that was a good movie, by the way. If you haven't seen Pacific Rim Uprising, go see it. It was fantastic. Mostly all about fighting, which that's what a robot movie should be about, is fighting. Because you never, you never seen Transformers before. And on the top, it's got that beautiful logo. Look at that. Transformers Revenge of the Fall. And yes, the box came out this toy. I was kind of pissed. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed. I'm intrigued of the boxing Cause look how terrible the box is. It's got a dent right here. It's all pushed out right here. But until then, I'm gonna get him up and out of the box. So I'm gonna pause the video. Look at this beautiful landscape. It's a be good, good. I like that actually. It's like a lot of good painting details to it. Now I'm kind of angry though, cause look, no, no. <laughs> just mess with you. That's an easy fix. I just handle it probably not but I haven't gotten out of his packaging yet so I got that out for the royal snips <laughs> yes it's a pair of tweezers <laughs> oh, these are actually quite bigger than I thought they were going to be but I like them oh it's got a Sabaturian symbol on it heck yeah uh, they could be used for many things actually I remember him having one Age of Extinction. Imagine that though. Imagine them giving him one of these swords for Age of Extinction. Oh my god. OP. <laughs> they did, but sadly, Galvatron, uh, the fatty he is, engulfed it. <laughs> Ate his sword. Like, literally. I thought it was disappointing. Now I'm probably we're probably gonna be seeing some repaints of this guy because the paint on him is really dull. So, is, is that it? That uh, he's just gonna come out? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Put that down there. But um, the paint on this prime is really dull. I mean, like cherry red or anything. So I'll bring in a uh, leader class. Look how dull the paint is. They're not the same. I can see how they use the sapphire blue and a little bit of a, um, a little bit of sapphire blue on everything else. A little bit of gunmetal. His head can lift at least. He's gonna need some fingernail polish to get that fixed because his head's not really rotating that much. Hey, what are these? Oh, this, that's the back of the truck. Okay. Okay, okay, see these? This is what I wanted on our Voyager Age of Extinction. Saw the uh, the single cab one. I was going to try to do this, but his thing was too small. But I want it to rotate upwards. See, this is what I wanted before they made the figure itself. I'm glad they included that in here. Yeah. Having another Voyager. That crappy 
Prime Voyager they've been coming out with. Except for uh, Age of Extinction and Transformers Last Night. Transformers Last Night and Age of Extinction. Oh, I can't even speak. Age of Extinction. They actually came out with some pretty decent Voyagers. I'm not going to lie. The Voyagers that came out with the uh, line lately are really decent. They're not that bad. Which way does this go? Alright, this way. Okay. But, yeah. But the Voyagers are not that bad. I gotta admit, Hasbro, you did a pretty good job. But finally, you and Takara came together, and look what you can do when y'all together. Put two great ideas in the one, and guess what? You come out with better Transformer figures. People are gonna be buying these more. So I want the. Does this not rotate anywhere? Okay, it does. Okay, it does. Kind of say they're a little tight. But, um. Walmart has all these figures right now. What I was planning on doing is buying uh, Stinger. I'm going to do a couple repaints of him too. But uh, Stinger it was at Walmart. He was the last one. But uh, what I plan on doing is getting Starscream, Megatron, and Blackout all three together. That way we can have a nice big force fight. <laughs> uh, I do believe this, all this right here is chest piece and all that that comes to the front cab of the car. I and mean, these fold up. I love the feet. Look how detailed the feet are. Make it a little closer up here. Come on. There you go. Come on. Hey, nope. Didn't do it. Look at the feet, though. The feet are, like, so detailed. It's really awesome. Oh, my God. Look at the underside of that. Is that a hitch? Wait a second. That is a hitch. Oh, wait. Can I look at the box again? Oh, yeah, that is, isn't it? Yeah, his feet go on the back. Huh. I like that. So it pretty much is like the Voyager Age of Extinction, just a little bit more better. Uh, if y'all see this guy at your local Walmart or anywhere, like uh, Target, Toys R Us don't exist here in my state no more. Or anybody, anywhere else in the United States, they have gone out of business. So, what's this? Oh, no way. Dude, look at this. Bam! You can fold these down to go over the wheel wells. Oh my god! The best Voyager Prime they have made just yet. I mean, I still got I still got my fave, which is uh, Age of Extinction and Transformers Last Night, Optimus Prime Voyager classes. And then from there on down, from Transformers movie, the first one. I mean, I liked it and all, but the primes that came out with that one are a little bulky and a little. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bumblebees, they haven't made a good Bumblebee yet, except for uh, Transformers last night and Age of Extinction. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a drink there. But, <clears throat> there's definitely going to be some parts that I'm going to be reworking on for him. Considering these gas cans and this black piece right here yes 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 chrome to the finest yes <laughs> but stinger i will be painting him thank you the bumblebee the bumblebee and that's his name bumblebee 01 something like that but um i will try to do a repaint of stinger i just gotta find a good decent image of him and then eventually your man himself the one and only the one of the butt kicking, and we're giving the butt kicking, but not see, or oh, he received it sometimes, and they uh, were bitten the wall. But, till then, that's out of the story. We're the giver of butt kickings. We'll have a good good little review and repaint. So. Catch him out. <laughs> we catch him out one more or anything, just hit him up, get him, if you want to. Uh, I think it's like $30. Not cheap whatsoever. Not Age of Extinction, kind of, or Transformers Last Night Cheap, like Voyagers are like, what, 20 bucks? And Transformers Duolux classes were like $7 towards the end. And I'm pro I'm going to have to get online and order uh, Crosshairs and Cogmid, because they're not coming out at my Walmart, because they took all the Transformers Last thing, uh, to Transformers Last Night toys off the shelves and replaced them with these. Which I refer these, because now I can get mine at my local Walmart instead of had to order them off the line and paying double. But till then, check them out. Get them at Walmart. Thirty dollars. Starscream. All the deluxes. 
catch you off the head. How about that?